Once there was a king who had four wives. He loved all his wives, but the fourth wife was the one that he adored the most. He always adorned her with the finest delicacies. He provided her with the best things. His third wife was really beautiful and he loved to show her off to neighboring kingdoms. His second wife was very kind, patient and considerate. Whenever the king faced some problems with decision, he would go to her and she would help get through that decision. The first wife was very loyal partner and made great contribution in maintaining the king's health and wealth. But the king was very ignorant towards her. He hardly took notice of her. One day the king fell ill and he knew he was going to die soon. He wondered I now have four wives with me but when I die I will be alone. He called his fourth wife and asked, I loved you most, when I die will you follow me to keep my company? The fourth wife refused and walked away without any other words. The king felt very sad. The third wife also refusing saying No, I can't. Life is too good and I'm going to remarry after you die. The king then asked his second wife the same question. And even she refused to the king saying, "No, I can't help you out this time." The king was devastated. Then a voice came from outside, "I'll go with you no matter where you go." The king looked up and saw his wife who was looking really dull and suffered. The king said with a grief, "I should have taken care of you when I had the chance." The truth is we all have those four wives in our lives. The fourth wife represents our body. Whole life we try to make it look good but it will leave us when we die. The third wife represents our wealth and status. When we die, it will go to others. The second wife represents our relatives, family and friends. No matter how much they have been there for us. The farthest they can stay by us is up to the grave. The first wife represents our soul. In pursuit of body, wealth and pleasure of this world we often ignore it. Soul is the only thing that will follow us. In this world we live for pleasures and sometimes we ignore our soul and spiritual being. With all other things what we should focus most is on our inner soul our soul strengthen and cherish it now for it is the only part that will follow and be always with us